Good evening, and we are tracking, of course, Hurricane Hannah, which now has officially made landfall, and it did so just around or just after 5 p.m. as we were talking about south of Corpus Christi, Texas. And there's a lot to talk about with the tropics, not only Hurricane Hannah, but also Gonzalo, Invest 92, and over, not in our part of the Atlantic Basin, but in the Pacific, Hurricane Douglas nearing Hawaii, actually, in the next couple of days. Right now, though, let's focus first on Hurricane Hannah. This is where it is now with the center, the very, very middle of that eye now over land south of Corpus Christi, and it is bringing a lot of heavy rain. There have been 90 mile per hour maximum sustained winds at landfall. This will weaken quickly because it's going to be moving over this mountainous terrain, but still maybe 7, 10 inches of rain are expected, unfortunately, over parts of the coast and maybe even into North Mexico. Some high rain amounts expected as it falls apart, but continues to bring heavy rain there in the next couple of days. Live radar here has been mainly quiet, so as you make your plans for this evening, we're not going to see a whole lot of rain, but we may see some developing later on tonight and into tomorrow, as I mentioned. Getting into the tropics, though, with our next thing on the list, Tropical Wave Invest 92, it is way out, so we're talking about this thing really early. Notice that it has now a 70% high chance of developing as it makes the usual route here, coming off of Africa, crossing the Atlantic, and and it does look like it will be able to develop likely into a depression or a tropical storm. Its name would be the I storm Isaias, but it does look like it may kind of curve to the north around the Bahamas, not Monday and Tuesday of this week, but maybe a whole week out after that. So this one we'll be watching, but it's kind of nice to see long range models. Don't bring it into the Gulf right now. Of course, we'll have to watch because it's a long way out. Gonzalo, by the way, has pretty much fallen apart. It's here in the extreme southern part of the Caribbean Sea, just a messy kind of low pressure area now and expected with the remnants of this low to just kind of cross over the extreme southern part of the sea. And then over in the Pacific, here is Category 1 Hurricane Douglas, and here are the Hawaiian Islands. So it does have a forecast path out probably north of the Big Island and somewhat close to Oahu as we get into tomorrow, perhaps, and it may weaken a bit after that. But anyway, a lot going on in the tropics, not only in the Atlantic, but in the Pacific. Very nice, though, here in South Louisiana for us that we don't have any big threats coming from that, aside from some rain associated with Hannah, of course, that we've been dealing with. Our current weather temperatures only in the low 80s, a nice cloudy kind of, actually, I thought pleasant feel to the uh, day today. Notice that our live radar again is mostly quiet. Our rain totals have been somewhat high in a few areas like Buras, more than an inch and a half there, and Gulfport, especially in Harrison County, Mississippi. There have been some flood advisories there with some heavy downpour streaming from from the south to the north, but most of our Louisiana spots have been somewhat on the quieter side. Notice that this evening looks mainly dry, just kind of humid, gray skies, and then later on tonight, we're expecting a few more showers to return, especially around midnight or just after. Temperatures will be in the 70s to about 80 for lows, and tomorrow, even though we're seeing Hannah move inland over south Texas and eventually Mexico, we are going to continue in this rainy pattern. There's nothing really changing as far as that weakness that's kind of been allowing showers and storms to form and also a lot of tropical moisture that might not change until midweek. So tomorrow we are expecting some more downpours and in fact, the risk of flooding rains will be there. It's been marginal the past couple of days and it will be marginal north of the lake. That's the lowest risk. But tomorrow, actually, the uh, Weather Prediction Center has given it just a slightly higher chance of a few of those heavy downpours south of the lake. So what to expect? Rainy pattern continues through at least Tuesday, maybe into Wednesday before our pattern changes. Expect some showers and some heavy downpours, and then it's hotter and back to the heat by Thursday. How much rain are we talking about? This is our rainfall forecast through Tuesday evening, and you can see we might pick up in a few spots another few inches of rain. We will see whether it comes down all at once. Hopefully not. Hopefully it can stay kind of lighter and spread out, but there's a lot of tropical moisture to tap into for these showers and storms, so we'll have to watch for that not only tomorrow, but probably into Monday, and you can see the temperatures ramping back up as we dry out by Thursday.